Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor, where just a quick little video about possibly my craziest ebook purchase ever that I made a few months ago, and about another reading project that I'll be doing in the future, which is also a little crazy. And you know what it's about because you saw the title of the video. It's The Complete Malazan Book of the Fallen by Steven Erickson. So, yes, this is The Complete Malazan Book of the Fallen, which I bought, was it in February? It must have been in February. So last year, I read Gardens of the Moon, and it was hands down the best book I read last year. I mean, there wasn't, it wasn't even a contest. And then earlier this year, in January, probably, I can't really remember, I read Dead House Gates. And that book was really good as well. It was probably almost as good, if not as good, as Gardens of the Moon. And I intended to continue with the Malazan series because I was enjoying it so much and because it's so good. But I just haven't because all the Malazan books are huge. So I always intended to get back to this series, but there are always a million other books getting in the way. And it's kind of hard to figure out when you're going to read these things just because they're all so darn big. Each Malazan book, one after the other, they just keep getting progressively more gigantic because it's epic fantasy and epic fantasy just has to be that way where every single book is huge. But this is a really good epic fantasy, so I, I've always intended to get back to this and just haven't. And in fact, thinking back, I was I've, I've kind of felt like I want to reread Gardens of the Moon at least because there's a good chance I missed some stuff in that book the first time reading it because it's a very dense, very com complex fantasy novel. And when you start reading it, Erickson doesn't do you any favors. He doesn't explain anything. You're just thrown into this world and you have to kind of figure it out as you go along, which I did. And it was still great. I mean, it's great. But... I'm sure I missed some stuff the first time I read it. And so I, I would like to reread it. So here's what I'm going to do. I bought this, like I said, in February. And it was kind of a crazy ebook purchase because it's like it was $80 from what I remember. $80 for an ebook. But it is actually 10 ebooks if you think about it. So not quite so bad when you think of it that way. But still, it was a lot to drop at one time, but I did buy the entire series. And now I'm glad I did because I'm on this 500 book challenge that I'm doing, that I will be doing for the next five or six or seven years or however long it takes, where I'm reading, every, I'm reading 500 books that I already own before I'll buy any new ones. Based on the Criminali Read What You Own Challenge, he, he topped out at 100. And because I'm a lunatic, I decided, you know what, I've got thousands of books. I'll do a 500 book challenge. So that's, that's what I'm doing. And Malazan is going to be part of that. And I'm thinking it'll probably be my next big reading project this year. Well, right now, actually, I'm, I'm doing uh, the Edgar Rice Burroughs deep dive where I'm reading every book that Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote one after the other. I'm doing that right now. And so this will probably be the next one. And I'm thinking I probably will be doing this. When will I be doing this? Probably around the same time next year, maybe, maybe. The thing is, this series is so gigantic and I'm not the fastest reader in the world. And so now I'm doing this challenge where I have to read 500 books before I buy any new ones. This will probably take, what, half a year, you think? Maybe? Malazan to read all of them? And that's only 10 books. And I gotta read 500. So this is the thing about epic fantasy, man. They're just huge. But Malazan, 
as far as I can tell, just from reading the first two books, deserves all of the praise that has been heaped upon it. Because it does seem to be an epic fantasy that lives up to the word epic. And it's really interesting and really complex. And there's a lot going on. I certainly really enjoyed the first two books. So this will give me a chance to read the whole book as one book. I'm just going to, you know, start at the beginning of this complete book of the Fallen, Malazan Book of the Fallen, and I'm just going to read it all the way through, however long that takes. So now I am, I'm kind of glad that I bought this when I did, and I'm kind of horrified that I bought this when I did, because it is certainly going to be an investment of time, but I think probably a rewarding one. So yeah, the complete Malazan Book of the Fallen. And I only got this thing, I didn't even know about this thing, except that I heard Steve Donahue talking about it, I think. He was talking, he might have been in, in a discussion with somebody, it might have been one of those videos. And he mentioned it casually and he said, can you believe this thing even exists? Man, how long would it take to read that? For Steve, it would take like five minutes or something. But I said, you know, I didn't know that that exists, so I had to seek it out. And I thought, you know what? I had the first four volumes in these gigantic paperbacks. And I thought, you know what? It might just be easy, easier to have all those on the Kindle. And I'm going to read them all eventually. I'll just get this thing. And I did. And now I have it. And it's been lurking on my Kindle this whole time. So there you go. The Malazan, the complete Malazan Book of the Fallen. It's huge, and I'm going to read the whole darn thing next year at some point. So, yeah, and I was just thinking about it because I was thinking about the books I'll be reading for the 500 Book Challenge. And these books are going to be probably some of the most challenging and time-consuming books that I will be reading for the challenge. I'll have to read some really short science fiction and westerns before and after to make up. Okay, guys, that's all I have to say for today. Catch me for Epic Comic Book Wednesday tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. And I will see you next time.